thought we could just do a little lesson in, in the geography of, of space. So um, we're at the center, and the whole thing is about 10,000 years old, right? <laughs> so, I mean, but, but for theoretical purposes, or just for talking purposes, yeah. when, when they say 13.8 billion years old, it's as if we're here, and, and, and the furthest we can see this direction is 13.8. But by definition, we don't know where we are center yeah. out whatever so it would be really 13 that's the radii so it would be it's actually bigger because the universe has been expanding the whole time so, so you, if the you, universe you, was static light traveling to us from 13.8 billion light years away um, would be the light that we received in all directions and that would sort of just define a slice of what we can see in the universe but because it's expanding the light that was emitted 13.8 billion years ago from that spot that spot has actually moved away further so, so it's we're even more than seeing double seeing nearly 90 billion light years across. 90? Something big. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's really hugely big. Our observable <laughs> region is hugely big. That's yeah. just our observable patch. We assume that there's more universe right beyond that, and that if we wait long enough, we'll see that too. And how do we know this? We don't know it. Oh, okay. We're, it's the Copernican principle that you're referencing. It's the idea that we're not in a special location, so presumably there's a galaxy 80 billion light years away who's seeing light from 90 billion light years from them, right? Oh. And so they're seeing a different observable patch of the universe than we see. There's some overlap, but they're seeing a different observable patch, and the assumption is we're no more special than they are. We're going to kind of presume that we're seeing roughly the same, same kinds of things. So there is no edge. There's no edge. Right. We shouldn't yeah. even use things like a bubble.